Empowering the modern women in South Africa today, Gosazana Zamini Zuma visits Buko Nebu Prima and acknowledges the hard work they put in. Zamini Zuma says women should not be ignored. It's important for women, as this summit was about women, to see them making things, doing things, but we need to do more, train more, and uh, make sure they grow. And the agriculture, I see nice vegetables, and so it's great to see it in practice, but we just need much more. The resources of Northwest make the province rich and dynamic. The leadership says that greater things await. Our intention as the province is to use mining as a strategic tributary to build agriculture, culture and tourism. So we want to generate capital out of the mining so that that capital must help us to strengthen agriculture, culture and tourism. That's why we say it's a tributary. We are not going to have the minerals forever, but we are going to have people having to eat forever. So agriculture will be there forever. Our culture will be there forever. Tourism will forever be there. That's why we are saying to build a tree, we must use mining minerals as a tributary to strengthen this first pillar of our economy in the province. Successful Women's Summit sees radical economic transformation, not just talk. I am so delighted. In fact, we are excited because this has been a success. But in the main, what is very heartwarming is that the women that has made it through government initiatives are able to say to other women, this is possible, this is what can happen when you have passion and the government can assist you. Now we are expanding a pool of mentorship. We want these women to mentor others and say to them, it can be done. Well, economic transformation, the game plan for South Africa. It is clear to see that Bukoni Bukurima is not just talking the talk, but walking the walk. This not leaving women behind, but empowering the South African. Giovanni Machani for ANN7, Mahikeng in Bukoni Bukurima.